What's up everybody, this is Rafi from Zurb, and in this video we're going to go through the drill down menu component in Foundation. So the drill down menu component is specifically for navigations and it creates this type of drill down pattern. So this type of drill down pattern is really common on mobile devices or maybe like a mobile uh, menu when the hamburger menu opens up you can go through submenus this way. It's also really useful as like a sidebar or maybe in an off canvas uh, navigation, uh, but it can be used in many different ways as well. So I'm gonna show you how to build this component and some of the modifications for it right now. So let's hop over to an example. So in this example, I have a four column container right now. I'm using the grid to contain it over to the left side um, in a four column container. So it's going to be kind of like a vertical uh, sidebar. So let's start with a UL with a class of menu. And all menus are built like this. They start with a UL with a class of menu, then um, we have some list items and anchor tags and you know, maybe some links. All right, so we have one. Let's duplicate this a bunch of times. Okay, so this is a basic menu uh, setup. Now we're going to make it vertical. Okay, great. So now we have kind of our sidebar starting out here. Now I did style this menu just a little bit um, with some basic background color and then, uh, you know, colored the anchor tag. So you can see how easy it is to style the foundation menu component. So, so far we just have a regular foundation menu that we've made vertical, but now we're going to add the drill down to it. So we need to add the JavaScript data dash drill down. So, Data dash drill down will tell the foundation JavaScript that, hey, this component can have a drill down inside of it. So to create the drill down, we're gonna go ahead and nest a UL with a class of menu and vertical. Um, so let's choose uh, the second list item here. So the second list item is gonna contain the sub menu and we're gonna paste that in there. Okay, and we're, let's get rid of data dash drill down there because we only need a UL with a class of menu and vertical to create our sub menu. So you see here that we have on the parent UL menu and vertical and then data dash drill down. Then inside of one of the list items right after the anchor tag, we're gonna nest our UL with a class of menu. So if we hop over to our example here, we can see that when we click the arrow, it's going to slide over to uh, the next submenu. So you can see how that works. It adds this nice little uh, back button in here automatically for you, the JavaScript does. So you don't have to have that in your markup, um, but then when you do click that, it slides back to the original um, Submit or the original uh, parent menu. Now you can nest this as many times as you want. So if I take another UL with a class of menu and vertical, um, and then let's say I want to put it in the last list item here, we're just going to put it in right after the anchor tag. And let's fix our indentation. Then you can see that now we have another level that we could slide over to. Okay, and one thing you notice uh, right away that these menus are created with differing heights. So let's make that even more apparent. I'm gonna make the first level only have, uh, or sorry, the second level only have two links. Uh, so let's go ahead, or sorry, that's still three links. And then we're gonna make the first level uh, let's make that have even more. Okay, so the reason I'm doing that is to show you the default behavior. So the first uh, level, as you can see, has lots of links, including this first one up here. 
And so you can see that it's really tall. Now when we click over to the next level, it has fewer links. The total height of the menu stays the same in this case. So that's to not create a jarring effect where the height is just dynamically changing. But you might actually want that height to change. And so there is a way to do that really quick using the foundation JavaScript. Let me show you how to do that. So the most important section for this component is the JavaScript reference. So over here on the right, I'm going to click on JavaScript reference. And we're going to scroll down and you're going to see a bunch of data attributes that you can add to the drop down menu to change its behavior. Now this is really cool because you can actually change a lot of the JavaScript behavior right through the HTML. So the thing we're going to look for is data dash auto height. So let's go ahead and find that. Okay, so data dash auto height is right here. We're gonna copy that, hop back over to our example, and then we're gonna add this data attribute in here. And we're gonna set it equal to true. Okay, so that's step one. Now you can see that it is already uh, changing height automatically as we click through our submenu. So it's gonna just match the height of the submenu rather than the tallest um, height of the parent menu. So that's cool, um, but it's kind of fast and jarring, so maybe we want an animation there. So there's another data attribute that we can add. So let's do data dash animate height. And we're gonna set this to true. Okay, so now it's going to animate that height change, nice and smooth and under control. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Uh, and then there's some other data attributes that you can add to, um, like especially ones for uh, really tall menus. Um, so there's data dash scroll top. So if you have a really tall menu like this one here, uh, when you click on it, it's going to actually scroll you back to the top of each section. Um, and so that's really helpful for really long menus that might scroll off the bottom of the page. So that's another data attribute that's available. And so there's a bunch of them. So you can definitely control a lot with the foundation JavaScript right in your HTML, which is awesome. Now we teach the drill down menu and all the other components in foundation in our intro to foundation class. So I'll put the link below, make sure to check that out. And this is Rafi from the Foundation team signing off. Thanks for watching.